here we've got a very cheap mobile phone micro USB charger that I bought off eBay. It was under two quid delivered from China. And uh, see the label there. I've already had this thing apart. Not happy with it at all. 5.2 volts. Uh, USB is supposed to be 5 volts, so I suppose they're going to just about get away with that. 580 milliamps. Fairly pathetic. Okay, so I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to uh, plug it into my phone. Come on. Okay, so the uh, indicator at the top of the phone says that it's charging, if it's a little bit focus. There you go, it's supposedly charging. Uh, uh, this is what the interesting problem is. Oh, there we go. You usually slide to unlock. And then let's say if I went to... I'm not even near it there, and... What is going on? Slide, slide up, slide up. There we go. Alright, if I just try and draw my pattern to unlock the phone. Oh. Nope. That's not where my finger's going. Nope. It plays absolute buggers with the touch screen. So I dread to think what the wave coming out of that is going to look like if it's causing that much interference inside that phone. So I'm going to stick that on the oscilloscope later and find out. Well, I've just hooked it up to the oscilloscope. And as you can see, it is a very noisy supply. I'll just turn the intensity down a bit. There you go, you can see that now. Very noisy with lots of peaks as well. So that can't be doing much good for the poor phone. So yeah, I'm going to try and put a uh, capacitor on that and see if it makes it any better. Just pop this little uh, 22 microfarad capacitor on. Just positive to positive, negative to negative across the supply. And I've actually got a nice steady voltage now. There's no peaks on that and um, the sawtooth style sort of wave has gone. So that might actually be good for charging the phone. So I'm going to put the, uh, put the micro USB back on the end of that and hope it's a bit better. Yeah, it's lit up, it says it's charging and the touch screen works again. Works absolutely perfectly now. So all it needed was a little 20 p capacitor. One thing I did notice a couple of minutes ago, when I plugged the phone in, does all go a little bit crazy for a couple of seconds, so I don't know what that could be. Never mind, seems to work. Right, that's enough of learning stuff. I really wanted to set fire to something stupid with this robot arm and this lighter, but the drivers didn't work. So I've got to sort that out another day. But in the meantime, let's blow some stuff up. Alright, explosive discharge. We've got a... Uh, 12 volt IM AC transformer, relatively high amp, about 5 amps, connected to this little drill motor, let's see what happens, 50 hertz going through it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that wire's getting hot. I don't think what's happening to that transformer. Oh, let's try it on the big boys. Now, just gonna see what this transformer is because all the ratings have been rubbed off of it. We've got a 12 volt AC transformer going into it, and on the output, we got this shitty little multimeter. So, we're gonna see what happens, see how many volts we can get. Oh, 268, very nice. There we go, that's more like it. Thought I might wire myself a little electromagnet, see what happens. Oh shit, that's quite strong. Well, I've just spent the last 10 minutes picking fucking washes up off the floor. So I thought we could see what we can hang from this. 
don't know what that's made from, but let's give it a try. Works. Shall we try an hammer? That's the problem with AC. If in doubt, put a diode on it. Oh, we got smoke from the diode, let's pop it. Twice the diodes, twice the current. Let's see, shall we? It's got all of them. Magnetise that bit of metal a bit, right? It's got them. Oh, shit. It's got the hammer. Oh, sod it. Let's just chuck a couple more diodes on it. There's only four of them. Right, let's try that hammer again, shall we? go, we don't do bullshit, not here. Right. right, I'm just going to run this coil until we get some kind of cataclysmic failure, either the transformer or the coil. smoke. How is it still alive? Right, let's clear some of the fucking smoke out of it.